So the summer transfer window is closed, deadline day has been and gone, and we've got one addition to the squad, and that is it. Yeah, no real business to be had. No outs on deadline day, one in. Let's have a look. It's this man here, Noah Donovan, a Danish attacking midfielder, holding midfielder, centre midfielder, left midfielder, attempt to lead, youngster, 19 years old, um, on loan from uh, Copenhagen. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I was maybe tempted to buy him. They wanted like 1.2 million. I thought, let's get him in on loan, see what he can do in, in a maybe a loan deal. We have got an optional future fee of 1.4, so I'm not too concerned um, about, you know, not buying him if we don't. But he does look pretty useful, and his contract is expiring at the end of the year. In fact, it expires in December 2025, so it's a year and a half, actually. It's a year and a half he's got left. But he's got attributes in the right places when you actually look at what we sort of want him to do you know passing's decent flair vision uh first touch dribbling composure so i think as a sort of an option in attacking midfield i think he could be a decent player to bring on in maybe the league cup and and see how it gets on but yeah that's the only in and no outs so we've still got the same amount of money to spend when we get to january and i don't mind that at all let's go and have a look at the league table so as you can see we currently occupy a Champions League spot, which is mental. Absolutely crazy. Uh, played four, won three, lost one, point nine. And yeah, it's going really well. And it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be because our squad really isn't that good. Okay, we've had some easy fixtures in here. Uh, West Ham, we beat them opening game of the season. Last episode, 2-0. If you haven't watched it, go and check it out. Uh, spoilers, I guess. 3-0, uh, we then lost to Newcastle, which prompted a little bit of a change in system, which we'll get on to. Uh, we absolutely spanked Doncaster 5-0 in the League Cup second round with Sonny getting his debut in goal, which was good for him. Uh, a little England 17-year-old came through the youth system. He's the reason we got rid of Casper. He's come in. He is our backup goalkeeper. Uh, and he made his debut and got a clean sheet, which was brilliant for him. Uh, Arsenal, we beat them 2-1. Liam Delap and a Ramsdale own goal in the 68th minute gave us the win. Uh, Brian Diaz did score a penalty for them just before the own goal, but we did come away with the win. And we've just beaten Burnley 3-2. Um, Liam Delap winning it for us in the 93rd minute with his second goal of the game. Yeah, we've been incredible. What's more bizarre about this game is that Vincent Janssen scored two. Him of Spurs, who scored none in three, has already scored two in four after a £12 million move to Burnley, who will have loads of money because somehow they managed to convince, I think it was Roma... Roma to pay 32 million for a 32 year old Veghorst. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Lovely, tidy bit of profit for them. He actually hadn't done too well, but did score goals in the Premier League. So, yeah, well done, Burnley. Good, good financial planning from Burnley. But, yeah, we'll come back a bit early because I wanted to come back and say, let's have a bit of a challenge. So, we're going to come back and play Man United and then West Brom in the League Cup. So,. We're going to see how we get on in these two games. The slight tactical change that we've had is we've gone back to two holding midfielders. It just gives us defensive strength, right? We can have this box in here when we're defending. The, the wing backs can push on a bit more. It gets the ball forward to our strikers a little bit quicker. Um, and it's, it's working at the moment. So we'll go and see how it gets on against Man United, who are coming up. We'll be back to go through the teams. Right, this is how we're going to line up for this one then. Dolberg in goal. Ebersole, Bielik, Bernard and Hickey at the back, which is becoming a pretty consistent back four for us at the moment. Uh, Garner and Bird are in the middle behind Knight, who drops back from the attacking midfield role into the sort of ball winning role. That can switch between a ball winner and a box to box. At the moment, we're going ball winner because we want to get stuck into Man United a little bit. On the right, Sibley started the season really well. I think he's leading in assists in the league at the moment. Uh, Damari Gray plays on the left. He's... He's done okay. He played one game, then he picked up an injury. He's just coming back from injury, so he's going to get a start on the left in this one. And uh, Delap starts up front as a complete forward because he can pretty much do everything for us in this team. He can pretty much do everything. Six foot two, quick, good finisher, can hold it up, can pass. Yeah, he's he's pretty much can do everything. So we're, we're putting him up there as a complete forward. And then on the bench, we're going Sonny, uh, the goalkeeper, Buchanan, left back, uh, Aziz, central midfielder, Cashin as a centre back, Vasilev as a winger and a striker, Donovan on there as an option, uh, Giorquez as a winger, McDonald right back, and Agatsi, who is back from his loan spell, um, where he 
said, I'm not playing in the right positions, boss, so can you bring me back? And I said, yeah, all right, why not? We'll bring you back in. That's not a problem. Um, I mean, it, we do have Giorkes and Vasilev on the bench, which means we're not going for Pukki, because I think pace is going to be our option up front rather than rather than Timo um, or Timu. He's not really done much since we brought him in. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him, see what he does. But yeah, generally, he's not done much to. And obviously, it is the return of Deshaun Bernard to, to Man United to see how he gets on. But De Gea, Varane, Pavard, Salisu, Singo, Renan Lodi, uh, Mariba, Rice, Fernandez, Rashford, and Zapata. Paul Pogba on the bench, Graven Birch on the bench, Maguire on the bench, Sancho on the bench, and Luke Shaw. That looks like a five at the back formation. Interesting. Right, point the finger. Um, we've been on a good run. We have been on a good run. Why not go uh, and do that? And then we'll say they've all got... They can make the difference and, and make us proud. So, right, we'll just let Dennis deal with all of that. And here we go then, into the game at Old Trafford. And uh, it should be a good one, hopefully. So, throw in then Singo to take it. And Man United are playing a five at the back formation in this game as Bird picks out Damari Gray, who's got the wrong side of Singo, the right wing back. And Damari Gray puts a ball through and Delaps in. And he's at the post. And on the rebound, he's put it in. His seventh goal of the season, which is crazy, has put us 1 0 up at Old Trafford. And we are playing phenomenally well. And what I will say. Having the Segundo Valante back in the team, absolutely love it. Max Bird and James Gardner sort of replace, uh, sort of rotate in there a little bit. Great ball through from Damari Gray. Delap rifled it against the post and then just had a, a rebound to tuck in all by himself. Empty net. 15 minutes gone. 1-0 derby. It's our only shot on target. You love to see it. Oh, but they have a corner. Bruno Fernandes swings this one in. Back post. Rafael Varane and Duvan was there, but he looked offside. He looked offside. Unless we had a man on the post that I didn't see. Well, VAR aren't even checking it. So, oh, he's come from behind. He's come from the back of Hickey, our left back. 1-1, it was short-lived. It was short-lived. But we, we're, we know, we're playing all right. We've scored, right? Free kick then. Uh, Deshaun Bernard against his old team. Up to Gray. Bird. Back to Bernard. And we uh, we go all the way back to the goalkeeper. I don't mind that. We're keeping the ball. Bielik. Bielik into Knight, and this is where we should be a little bit more direct, pinging the ball into the midfielders, although that's really bad from uh, Max Bird, I think that was. Out to Renan Lodi, the left wing back for Man United, gets towards the byline, puts a cross in deep towards the back post. Bruno Fernandes, Duvan there, it's Zapata, and just like that, it turns on its head, and it's 2-1 United, and Thomas Tuchel's Man United are 2-1 up, as uh, Lodi did really well down here, I thought. We might get away with it, but Hickey is not the tallest. Bruno Fernandes headed it back into space. Good touch from uh, Zapata, and he's not going to miss from there, is he, when he's through one-on-one? -on -one. Yeah, unfortunate. Free kick. Bruno Fernandes swings it in. It's over the bar from Rice, and the good performance we started with is just drifting off a little bit here. Free kick. Damari Gray in it goes. Rory Delap, not Rory Delap. Liam Delap puts it over the bar. It's our best opportunity since Man United have scored two goals, but we're really just struggling to get the wingers involved. I'm wondering if it's their wing-back shape, which is causing us some issues here, as Renan Lodi again comes down the left, easily gets past his man. Lodi's there, looks to cut it across, and it's fallen. Oh, what a block that is. Who put that in? Is that Bielik? It must be playing at centre-back, and Delap flicks it on to no one. What a block. It was surely going to be 3-1 there. A fantastic block from Bielik as Rice plays it into Rashford. Renan Lodi again down the left-hand side. A new signing this season at United. is doing well. Plays it back to Zapata. On the edge is Rice. Plays it across and Damaro Gray can get it away. But Moriba into Rice again. Rice on the edge of the box. Bruno Fernandes. Lots of space for Singo. Singo's coming through and he's in the box. And that's got to be a penalty. Damari Gray, what are you doing? Commentary says it looks harsh. I mean, it didn't even look harsh in these sort of graphics, really. So I'm going to suggest that will be a penalty. Yeah, it's a penalty. 3-1, a chance to make it 3-1. I think it's going to be Bruno. He stands over the spot and... Oh, Dolper goes the right way. But Bruno Fernandes fires it in. It all started so positively, this game at Old Trafford. I think we may have to do something to give our our fullbacks a bit more support in the second half. We've not been completely outplayed. It was only up to that penalty point that we... Um, we're not creative enough. Let's fire them up a little bit. But I think we are just going to go... Uh, just going to change these guys to support so they track those wing backs a bit. And we're going to change you to 
wing back, complete wing backs on support as well. Make it a little bit more defensive in in shape. We'll bring on. Do you know what? We're 3-1 down. Let's bring on a Gatsy for his first game since coming back off loan. Why not? Why not? Uh, Deshaun Bernard is anxious. Ebersole is not having a good game. We do have McDonald on the bench. We'll give him a little bit longer. But yeah, one sub. Sibley coming off, which is a shame because I bigged him up saying how well he was doing with assists before. But overall, you know, Man United are a very good team. It was always going to be difficult. Gray swings this one. Deshaun Bernard back post. De Lapp. Oh, it's in. It's in. Somehow it's gone in. Referee's calling it back. It's going to be offside. Oh, theirs wasn't offside. Ours is going to be called offside. VAR is checking it. And it's been awarded. It's 3-2. We're in it. We're in with a shout. Liam Delap gets another one. Deshaun Bernard, great flick on him. Delap, I don't know how he squeezed that in there. You can see me even sort of craning my neck in terms of a 2D view. But, um, yeah, lovely goal. Bielik into Ebersole, who we've kept on. And uh, we do have another right back on the bench if his performance doesn't improve. But, you know, we've scored. So everyone must be playing a little bit better. Agatsi into Ebersole. Garner, Agatsi again. To think he was playing at MK Dons last week and now he's back playing against Man United at Old Trafford for Derby. Ebersole, what can he do? He was on a 6.2. If he can just do something here, Agatsi into Garner. Garner, back to Ebersole. Back to Agatsi. It's all very neat and tidy, but we could do with putting a cross in, to be honest. Garner. Ebersole's pulled off through a bit of space. There's the cross. It's Agatsi. It's the lap. Oh, my word, Varane. How have you kept that out? How have you blocked that, Rafa Varane? Unbelievable. That should have been 3 3. Damari Gray. Corner. Bielik. It's off the underside of the bar. Oh, my word. Boys, we are so unlucky. Keep going, chaps. Keep going. We're in this. We're giving them a fight. We are giving them a fight. Right, let's see what we can do here to make some changes. 6.3 Hickey coming off. Be replaced by Lee Buchanan on the left. And I think we're going to do... Jason Knight is going to come off for Noah Donovan. The youngster coming in on loan from Copenhagen. Chucked into the deep end to go and play Man United at Old Trafford. Oh, come on. Ten minutes to go. We just can't get that breakthrough. I can't believe that we hit the bar with Bielik. Ebersole has picked up a little bit of a knock. Garner into Delap. He's got runners. Donovan takes the ball into Max Bird. Max Bird into Damari Gray. Into Max Bird again. Into Delap. Into Gray. What can we do here? Gray holds it up. Crosses it in on Harry Maguire who's come on. Hoofs it away. Deshaun Bernard down the line. Great ball to Buchanan. Buchanan to the byline. Cross it in. Back post. Agatsy with a header. Oh, over the bar. Oh, my word. What a game. What a game. And time's ticking away. And Man United are going to hold on to the win. That's how we're describing that. They're going to hold on. Oh, man. Um, despite the result, I'm pleased. We played really well. Really well. Oh, to have that sort of performance away at Old Trafford as a promoted team. Absolutely brilliant. And no one let me down. No one let me down. Maybe Hickey. He had to be subbed off. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Uh, Ebersole, twisted knee, five to seven days. That's a bit tough. Donovan makes his debut, and uh, Allegri was looking at his low knee. Liam Delap, there you go. So we'll be back for the next game, which will be uh, West Brom in the League Cup. See you then. Okay, so we're going for a different team, a, a very rotated lineup uh, in the game in the League Cup against West Brom. Sonny is going in goal again. Get his second appearance. His first was in the League Cup and he did very well. Uh, McDonald at right back. Miange, Cashin and Vokins at the back. Aziz, Javier Simons and Nusaburg comes in. And we're going to keep him as a ball winning midfielder because that's what he seems to be better as in terms of statistics or attributes, sorry. But yeah, very interesting to see how he gets on. And um, Javier Simons, who we signed in the uh, one of our first signings, I think, and hasn't played for us since League One. So... Let's see how he gets on in there. Once of the Chelsea youth team. Um, Plancetta comes in on the right. Giorquez on the left. And Puki does get a start up front. So, yeah, let's see uh, Let's see how we get on in this one. I mean, it's going to be interesting having a, what, a 16-year-old? 17-year-old. Capped for Uganda. So, you know, he's an experience of the big stage. The international stage. Let's see how he gets on in the League Cup. Against uh, against West Brom, who I, I have no idea. Sam Byram, Ajayi, I know Phil Jones is at the back. Alfie Devine from uh, Spurs is in there as well. Uh, Kubo, Tefesco Kubo, isn't he ex Real Madrid? I think Kubo. But uh, right, let's go with 
uh, pump the fist, go out there and impress me, and then we'll point at them and say, you can, yeah, you can make me proud. There's a lot of youngsters playing here today. The board wanted us to get, get to this round, so um, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. We'll send Dennis to go and do that. But we are the favourites. We are at home, but we are also playing a very weakened team, with which Javier Simons obviously played very recently for the under-23s. He's a little bit tired, but we're looking for our more experienced players in terms of uh, appearances and stuff to to take the game by the scruff of the neck you know Timo Pukki, Miguel Aziz, Miange at the back that's what we're looking for in terms of people to control this game up it goes towards Pukki he loses his first header of the game brilliant and they're probably going to go and score from that and therefore I will probably never pick him again Jose Mir, Jose Mir into Henderson, Liam Henderson back post and there's Berte and he's offside I think he looked offside it's being checked it's being checked, and the referee says, or VAR says, a goal, I think, has been given. I'm not 100% sure. Jose Mir here. Henderson, I think that's onside. I think that is onside. As Bird says there, I mean, we never got the lines. We never got anything like that. It's a tight offside call. Henderson swings it in. He's well onside. Nothing tight about it. 1-0 West Brom. Brilliant. The youngsters are letting me down. A J into Berte, the goal scorer. Divine. Out it goes to Nico Serrano. Oh, McDonald, bloody hell. Don't dive in and get a sent off there. Nico Serrano coming forward with it. Out to Sam Byram. Sam Byram, once of Norwich, I want to say. Sam Byram does very well down the right. Puts a cross in. There's Dyke with a header. Sonny's like, don't worry, lads. That's it in the bar. I've got all the potential in the world. Here he is on the ball now, Sonny. Into cashing. I mean, we're nine minutes in. We've had a lot of highlights for a game that's nine minutes into it. So, uh, Miange comes forward with it. Looks to hoof one over the top. And, well, Placetta's going to get on the end of that. And Timo Puki's in so much space. And he picks out Puki. And it's <laughs> it's a terrible finish. And I think Puki could be offside. I honestly think Puki could be offside here. It looked like such a terrible run. VAR. They've awarded it. He was onside. Timo Puki. I don't even think the goal's been credited to him. I think it's an own goal. Because Pookie got here. Yeah, he's tried to actually cut it back. And Phil Jones. Oh, Phil has scored an own goal. You've got a feel for him. So nearly half an hour gone. Still 1-1. We're back on the ball with uh, Nasubga. Aziz into Javier Simons. Good ball out to Giorquez. He's got an overlapping run on the left. Goes back to Nusubuga. Into Aziz. Out to McDonald. McDonald, don't lose it there because you're one of our last lines of defence. Placetta, Puki, holds on, gives it back to Aziz. Simons into Puki. Puki's got away from Phil Jones, lays it off to Vokins. Vokins back to Giorquez, and it's off the post and cleared away for a corner. Oh, it should have been. It should have been. I'm going to take work ball into the box off. I feel like we're dilly dallying a bit too much without getting shots off. Aziz swings it in. Miange trying to challenge, cleared away, and uh, Nasubuga. Nusbuga, we, we, he's going to need a nickname. I'm really sorry. Um, Julius, Julius, let's call him Caesar. Uh, Caesar, like that. That'll do. Caesar. And then people will think he's Brazilian as well because he's got one name. So, excellent. Right, now I don't have to struggle with Nusbuga, whatever his name is. But, yeah, he's playing all right, Caesar. He seems to be doing okay in the middle there. But, yeah, ticking down to half time And we're going to just have the last few touches of the, of the first half, I think. Miange into Cashin. Out to Jake Vokins. Up the line to Giorquez. Giorquez into Puki. Puki can hold it up. Back to Caesar. Not Nasabuga. <laughs> Aziz. Cash in. Into Simons. This is some good football. Into Giorquez. Giorquez turns. Into Caesar. Caesar over to Giorquez. Giorquez. Back to Vokins. Put the cross in. Put the cross in, Vokins. He does. Back post his placetta. It's a bit too long for him. Back in. Giorquez over the bar. We're just starting to tighten that screw. Uh, and play a little bit better. Three minutes gone in injury time, and it is half time. So let's go point the finger. Um, get us a goal. I'll make us favourites. That's what I'm going to say. And then we're going to say, I have faith. We're going to go pump fists. I have faith. And pump faith as well to the attackers. We are going to take um, Javier Simons off. I just feel like he's tired from his game in the reserves and not playing amazingly. So we're going to go... Noah Donovan, I think, is going to come on in this second. Do we want to play him in a single Dovalante? Do you have any sort of defensive bones in your body? I don't think you do, really. That might not be. I mean, you should be able to do that because you're more of a ball-winning midfielder anyway. 
I mean, we do have James Garner, which might be the more... Yeah, in fact, that's going to be the much more sensible option. James Garner on in the Segundo Valente role because it's a pretty crucial role to play. So James Garner can come on. Happy with that. Um, Javier Simons, good first half for the first team. Uh, he did he did okay. And uh, yeah, quick sub. Okay, an hour gone. We're going to make some more subs. Uh, left back, we're going to bring on Hickey for Vokins. He's had a terrible game on a 6.2. And Timo Pukki has been even worse on a 6.1. And uh, we will bring on... Now we are going to bring on Noah Donovan. And we're going to put Noah Donovan out here as the inverted wing forward. With Giorquez is going to go up front. And uh, yeah, let's see what Giorquez can do up there. We signed him originally to be a striker, Victor Giorquez. And he sort of migrated out to the left wing when we bought him Leon Delap. So hopefully he can uh, make something count here. Ajay on the ball now. We've brought a few more of our big hitters on for the second half. So I'm hoping to see a bit of an improved performance as Berte, who is a very good footballer, by the way, on loan from Man United because I saw his full name. And Berte is just what he has on the back of his shirt. Alfie Devine. Byram. Lovely ball through to Dyke. Dyke's in. Sonny, what a save. Go on, my Sonny. Lovely, lovely save from the young goalkeeper. Corner. Hamer swings it in. And it's headed away by Placetta really well. And Giorquez could bring this one away, but we're not going to get to see it. Let's uh, just have a little bit of a demand more from them. Throw in deep in our territory with Byram into John Joe Shelby, who now plays for West Brom. Good flick back to Byram as well. Back to Shelby again. Shelby under a bit of pressure goes back to Ajay. Ajay into Shelby. Into Divine. Alfie Divine on loan from Spurs. I meant to be very highly rated potentially in real life. Dyke, shot blocks. Shelby, long ball. Into Miller with a header from range. Hits the top of the bar and goes over. Right, we need to... Uh, uh, we're not playing. We're not playing too badly. It's only the League Cup, in it. We've got, I mean, a 17, 16 year old in goal. We've got a seventeen year old Ugandan in central midfield. We can't be too annoyed, can we? McDonald into uh, in, Miller picks it up. Sorry for West Brom. Crosses it in towards the back post, and he's there again. And it's another good header from German Bertarame. Check him out on your game, by the way. Man United bought him and then have never played him, and he's gone on loan to the Championship. So probably someone we could have uh, had a look at bringing in to be honest. Right, let's go attacking for the last five minutes. I really don't mind if we go out, but Aziz swings it in. Nisabugo, uh, Caesar is beaten in the air. Hickey up to Placetta. Placetta suits. Oh, it's just hit the top of the bar and goes over. And there's a couple of minutes to go. And it's going to be a double loss episode, uh, but the Man United game I was quite proud of. This one, I really don't. Look at that. Caesar getting a 7.0 in the middle in his first senior appearance. Yeah, he could really be someone to keep an eye on in this save. Um, Donovan not doing brilliantly. Hickey not doing brilliantly when he came on. Uh, Giorg is struggling up front. I think it does go to show in the summer, we may in the winter, sorry, winter transfer window, we may we may have to focus on bringing in a striker as a backup to Delap because we also don't really have any in the youth system. So it is somewhere we're struggling. Even if it's a a youngster that we can sort of cry, try and form into what we want to be, We'll have to see. Because the other thing is Liam Delap is only on loan. So if he gets injured or if he goes back to Man City, we are in a bit of trouble. But yeah, uh, well done, Caesar. Very good to see him coming through. That's what the board wants us to do as well. Financially wise, we're totally fine. We were at 44 million. They've just plowed loads of money into the training facilities and stuff, which is great. Um, the board obviously love us. It's, it's going very, very well. And yeah, we're doing well. I'm very happy. We're sitting in seventh in the league. Yeah, we're knocked out of the League Cup by, by West Brom, but that doesn't really bother me. So, yeah, no worries. Right, my holiday has been cancelled to Malaysia because my wife's got COVID, which means we can't go. So, um, yeah, we will be back for another episode tomorrow. Uh, we should be here anyway for another episode tomorrow. And we're going to change it up. Because we played Man United in this one, we're going to go through to Wolves v Aston Villa. Two teams in the Midlands, and that's when we'll be back. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. For now, I'm out. Cheers.